So now in this video, we're going to look at the output voltage right there of the op amp. And it's uh, zero volts right now. The LED is off. The op amp is actually controlling the NPN bipolar junction transistor right there, the 2N3904. And it has zero volts. You need at least 0.6 volts to get the NPN bipolar junction transistor to turn on. So we have a couple ways we can do that. We can turn the lamp on brighter, which actually I have this set to where that's not even going to work. There we go. We lower this. And you can see that we uh, got a higher voltage. We only need about 0.6 volts. But after that point, current starts going through that uh, resistor there to the base of the NPN bipolar junction transistor and turns it on. If I dim the light there at that point, the LED turns off. If I make it a little bit brighter, the LED turns on. Now, we have uh, one volt coming out of here for some reason we do have to provide a little bit of current so for some reason that's enough to throw it off if I get rid of the 10 kilo ohm resistor right there there you can see that the voltage goes uh, up and looks like it's even a little bit higher than we could get it before so this op amp really doesn't like to provide current and maintain a voltage so it is a single supply op amp which means that the voltage is made to go to ground right there and uh, we're not providing any current so it is able to go to ground we are able to maintain that but what we're going to do now we're going to zoom in a little bit and we have the LED I'm going to remove this 10k resistor so we just uh, got rid of this connection to the op amp altogether and I'll, I'll move this jumper. What we're going to do is take the uh, resistor. Actually, I'm going to put the uh, jumper back for the oscilloscope right there. We can see zero volts. So at zero volts, it's going to sink current. So the LED will light up when we make this connection right there. And uh, so it's supposed to be zero volts. It's not supposed to be this high. That's a bad. That's a bad hole there. I messed up the metal within that hole there. So there we go. Um, you may not have seen that because of the light dependent resistor. So this is supposed to be zero volts. It's not supposed to be that high. It's supposed to be at the bottom. But when it's sinking current, it's still enough to uh, throw off that voltage. This is a uh, red LED. And uh, so we actually have, it looks like about uh, seven milliamps of current approximately going uh, through it when we sink it to, to ground there. When we turn it off, there's no current flowing. But it's positive on that side and it's positive coming out of the output so there it is it's a little shy of four volts even though we have a five volt power supply right there so it never goes all the way to the positive supply no matter what that's because it's a single supply op amp you need a rail to rail op amp to go from uh, five volts all the way down to zero volts if you're using a five volt power supply but again, with those, usually you can't provide current or it throws it off. So, in any case, not a lot of detail to this one. I basically assume you've seen uh, my recent videos or whatnot. But even if you're studying just the uh, op amps and uh, the outputs or outputs of integrated circuits in general, I should say, then uh, still, this may make a lot of sense to you and be helpful. Always take actual measurements of everything that you read. And once you take those measurements, things will make a lot more sense than just simply reading them. So, hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen. And check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.